the first time I, I uh, was vi the victim of a peer observation, I prepared like mad. I thought, you know, I was terrified by the process, and I thought um, it's a judgment of my ability. Um, I suppose that's how the university looks at it. Um, it's about assessing whether you're good enough. Um, and so I prepared like mad. I was very stressed by the whole situation. Um, but after that, I, can't, I started thinking of it as a way of improving my teaching. And I think it's a way of getting rid of the stress as well. So if you look at it as an opportunity uh, to identify your strengths and weaknesses and build upon them, the stress kind of goes away. So I've treated it uh, every peer observation after the first as a, a way of making, as a benefit for me, not as a, a process to go through for the benefit of the university. Uh, and I found that very helpful. So the thing I found most useful was having someone who has, who's sitting on the other side of the room from a student's perspective, um, hearing what I have to say. Because you don't get that kind of feedback from the students. You can't talk to them and say, what did I do well, um, what have I done badly? Um, because you're, you've got a, a sort of a position above them, they're, they're, they'd be frightened to say some of those things. So it's, it's great to have someone who's in the same position as you, with the same expertise, sitting in on a, a lesson and f identifying what you're doing well and what you're doing badly. Um, and so the, the last peer review I had, um, the reviewer pointed out some areas where he was struggling to follow what I was saying. And uh, if he was struggling, because we had the same expertise as me, then I knew the students were going to. So it was really helpful and I concentrated on doing less, better, next time. I was trying to fit too much in, so it's really helpful to have someone else with that perspective there. You know, I'd completely recommend uh, people doing peer observation or getting reviewed. It's, it's, we all want to, if we ask ourselves, do we want to be worse teachers? We're not going to say yes. Um, we're all going to want to be better than we are and what we do. And the chance to have someone sit in, observe you, identify what you're doing well, what you're doing badly, and then give you detailed feedback isn't going to come along every day of the week. So it's the sort of thing I think you should just grasp every opportunity to go for it. Um, it's brilliant. So the question I have is how to get uh, people to buy into the idea of getting peer review as a positive thing. Um, to try and make it so that we don't just treat peer review as a, as a judgement on our ability and we respond to it positively, just like we do any other academic exercise with our journal articles. and um, We expect criticism and we respond to it positively, usually. <laughs> um, and I think it would be nice if we could get the same process going with peer review.